What's up guys, it's Eddie the Poetic Picker and today I'm going to do a quick video. FedEx actually lost one of my packages. It's the most expensive item I've ever sold. Uh, it's not just about the money though, it was a very historical and great piece. So if you watched my video a while back, I talked about selling this and getting my hands on this. And I'll put the link up to the video here. This was a World War II era, era uh, Army issued record player. I listed for $300 with $60 in shipping. I took, I think I took a best offer of like $250 with $60 shipping. It's like $310 altogether. And uh, I sent it out. I paid extra for FedEx ground to make sure you know, I thought it'd be it's safer there. I double boxed it. I double, double wrapped it, trying to make sure it was really good and safe. I paid extra for insurance. And I sent it out early February. A few weeks later, my my buyer finally messaged me and was like, "Hey, I don't, I haven't gotten this item yet. Check the tracking number, and the tracking number showed that it had been processed here locally and was sent out, and that was it." I contacted FedEx to call the number, and they did a trace on it, and um, they said they couldn't find it, and then they. Basically, they put in a ticket for sort of an expert to go through and find the item itself. About a week later, I got a phone call from them saying that the last place that it was located was was at a uh, FedEx processing center in like Iowa. They said they tried to call and email and message the place several times with no answers and that basically the item was just lost. Now, that's not okay. This is a piece of history. It's irreplaceable. Yes, it sucks that you know the most expensive and probably the coolest item I've ever sold is just lost, but what really upsets me is that this is an irreplaceable piece of history. This was our military. There's no undoing this. This was, I was frustrated. I let my my buyer know he was frustrated saying, you know, basically the same thing I was. He wasn't worried about the money. So he was more worried about, you know, the fact that this was an irreplaceable piece of history. Luckily, I have a really cool buyer who is was willing to wait for his refund. And so I escalated the ticket and asked for a refund, a full refund from FedEx. A month later, uh, day before yesterday, I got a check in the mail. 300 and, let's see. I don't want to, I hadn't quite got a chance to cash it, so I don't want to show you all the, the information on it, but it's, you can see there, $317.04. I had, I was expecting a little more fight from them. I heard horror stories about how FedEx will run you through the loop just to kind of deny your claim so many times, but I don't think they can, they had much ground to, to, to hold, especially since the item has just apparently vanished. I don't know how you'd lose that. It's not small. It's not light. It was very heavy. It may have been broken somewhere or someone just may have gotten their hands on it and uh, decided that they wanted it. It's really upsetting. It's disappointing to me. I'm in the process of now of trying to get this into my PayPal. Yes, you can deposit checks on PayPal. If y'all really don't really know, I can show you one day if you want me to, but it's it's not too difficult. The problem is my PayPal is in my wife's name and checks in my name. So uh, we're having a little difficulty with that, but we'll work around it. We'll get the, we'll get the money back to my, my guy. It's the most frustrating thing that I had happen to me as a reseller and I've been selling since June so nine ten months yeah that's, so it was just disappointing and that's that's a, not the first time FedEx has just screwed up lost the package or just somehow not scanned an item in and yet it still arrived at its destination like that's happened to me a couple times I don't know how that happens so I'm not happy with FedEx right now uh, but unfortunately I don't have a choice but to continue using them. You know, I've the the, veer, the the sheer velocity of stuff that I send through the USPS, and I've only really had one problem with them. I don't send a ton through UPS, and I've only I've had one problem with them. Uh, but FedEx, I send a decent amount, and I've had like four or five problems with them. And I know typically they've always come through. I've never really had a problem where they just refuse to not help me. You know, they paid my paid me this time, or they a package got changed to destination without my permission, even though. That was not set. My account was set up to never have that happen. It got changed, and then it was a whole process of getting it changed back and getting it back to the right value. It was a pain in the butt, but you know, they did work with me and they got that right. This is the first time they just never just flat up lost a package. Um, they've had packages get delayed for a long time or you know, stuff like that. But yeah, I'm not happy. I'm frustrated. The buyer's frustrated. I don't blame him. This was a really cool piece that he, I mean, he should have gotten his. I've been wanting to tell you all about this since it happened, but I wanted to make sure that it was kind of all way resolved, kind of gotten everything figured out exactly how it was going to do before I did this video. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you did like this video or got any value from it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've ever had any problems with FedEx similar to mine or even different, you know, I would love to hear it. Give me a comment down below. Let me know what your problems were. And if you like this type of video, please, you know, consider giving me a subscribe. Y'all have a good night.